I'd like to show you the use of one of the old tools from Lightroom 2 and one of the new tools in Lightroom 3 to improve this picture that you see on the screen. I'm going to start with the graduated filter found here in the tool strip. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to use the exposure effect with the underexposure of 1.18. I can change that at any point. And I'm going to hold my cursor at the top of the image area, outside the image itself. And I'm going to hold the Shift key and then click and drag. That'll constrain the filter. And you can see what's happening to my sky. It's being revealed in all its glory. And I can go back over here and move that exposure slider and make it even more dramatic. This is uh, imitating the graduated filter of the old days in film photography. So once I get the look I want there, I'm going to select the tool again, and it goes away. Now, before I show you what I'm doing next, I want to point out a problem with this picture. I'll need to enlarge the picture a little bit to give you the full effect. You see this edge. Maybe it, you can see it better if I put the crop overlay here and then click outside of the crop area. And you can see how these edges of these buildings, they're not uh, parallel at all to the parallel line. This is just a common result of shooting down on an object, in this case with a wide-angle lens. The building's distorted. And in order to get those lines straight, I would have needed a camera with a tilt back that would have allowed me to get the perspective just right. And the eye, you can see it when you're looking at the picture. Let me go out of the crop overlay. Uh, you're aware that there's distortion there. And I mean, some people may react more than others, but the fact is that there is distortion in this picture. With Lightroom 3, the lens correction capabilities, we can fix that. So let me open that up. And I'm going to go into the manual mode, which you can see is already selected. And I'm going to now click on the vertical. So watch the edge of the building where I showed you before. And I'm going to try to line that parallel to one of the lines. I'm checking all the edges on my buildings in the foreground. You can see how that works. I'll do it to the extremes. And then I'll bring it back. And there, I've got that lined up nicely. And you can see immediately one of the problems with this type of distortion, this vertical distortion. I'm losing some of my edges here. So I can make up for that by selecting the scale slider. Just crop right to there, and that looks good. And let's see how that picture looks now. I'm going to hit the Tab key, which will get rid of the panels on either side, and I'll select the L key, which is giving me the lights out. I think that's really much better, don't you?